Call it Second Kitchen Sounds for a special reason. That's cause we're cooking everything in any season. Plenty seasoning on the food when we're preparing it. And when it's finished, we're all sitting down and sharing it. Spice up! Oh, gotta put the cape on! What are we doing today? We're making a feta bake. Everyone's already made this feta bake, but I have not. And we're going to our friend's camping site, also known as our friend's campsite. And I want to take some, so we're making a feta bake. I don't know. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning, where we are. That's right. And uh, we're going to show up with a mother feta bake. What a good time. Tomatoes, can you see this? Probably. We're going to come at this a little different. Onion skins, love them. Cut our onions. Not too small, not too big, just right, perfect size. If you like a size, you pick that size and you stick with it, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Sound effects. Don't have to fix that in post, that's for sure. We had Aroma Tomato. Was just sitting there, lonely. This thing, if you didn't know, that's a tomato belly button. We're going to use this as kind of like a catch-all for all of our old ingredients. This is an old bell pepper that was just sitting in the fridge. The technique, you cut it, you split it. Most people know the technique with an onion. I was probably 32 years old until I, <laughs> until I realized this technique works with every vegetable out there. You can do the little slicey slicey and then turn that into a dicey dicey. So you slicey slicey, boomba boomba. And then they're dicey dicey, look at that. We want our green peppers about the same size as our onions. We just actually honed this knife. This is a pretty inexpensive knife. Uh, we just hit it with a honing steel and it's like uh, Ginsu, which is crazy. Ginsu isn't really that cool of a knife anymore, but at one time, it's the only knife Eminem would rap about. Check. It's important to keep a sharp knife. Get a honing steel. We also have some wet stones. Wet stones are called wet stones because when you're sharpening on them, you keep them wet. I believe, I don't know, maybe I'm making this up, but I believe it's W-H-E-T. This is a honing steel. Cool. This is not sharpening your knife. This is taking the edge, sharp part, and when you cut stuff, this edge gets uh, kind of round. Kind of like if you eat a lot of food and you don't move around enough. <laughs> it's really round. Where sharpening is like having a food program and exercising for a number of years, that's a whetstone. This is just like a New Year's resolution. When you go to the gym for three weeks and then you start eating cheeseburgers again. That's a honing steel. Slicey, slicey. I'm an idiot. All right, so we got tomatoes, we got onions, we got green peppers. We're not gonna throw the garlic in yet. Watch this, this is how we're gonna come at it sideways. Uh, real feta is made of sheep's milk, which is a different kind of flavor than cow's milk. It's really good. Oh my goodness, yes. I feel we're also going to want a, a little bit of this feta juice. This is salty, and this is going to add some liquid. A lot of liquid is going to come out of these veggie veggies. Scoop behind you real quick. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, we still want salt, though. We got a lot of veggies. Hit it with some olive oil. Hit it with some salt. Oh, knocked you right inside of the head there, huh? Goat cheese, should we? You don't see it with a lot of goat cheese. We want to be a one of one here. Mmm, so tangy. Love it. And we're in the oven at 375. We're gonna let this ride for about a half hour. I'm gonna wanna boil some noodles. This is how we're coming at this different. We're going to add our garlic to the hot pasta pot. When everything's baked in here, it's just I feel that this is gonna be a better vibe. That's right, it's the boop and peel technique, which is also an assembly line technique. You know we're out of Detroit. Love a good assembly line. You boop it. And you don't want to peel this right away. You set that aside. Boop, boop, boop. Now we move over to our peel, peel, peel stage. What is this going to do for us? This is going to keep our hands unsticky. You can kind of keep a wet hand, dry hand thing going on. Like, this is my peel hand. Because this hand is incredibly sticky. And because these are not going to actively be cooked, these are going to cook with ambient heat coming out of our warm feta bake. We're going to cut these very small. You want this pretty minced up. You give it a rough chop at first like this. Don't have to be too precise. There you go. Cut off the bruise. Sounds like a Taking Back Sunday album. Cool. Let's say about eight cloves. Cooking the garlic mellows it out. My intention here is to have a more forward garlic flavor. So we're not going to cook it first. We're going to put it in there raw and let it just sweat in the hot pan. We're going to go pick out our noodles. We have angel hair. We have a farfalla. I'm going to go with this one just because I... Have never seen anybody use angel hair, and I'm not going to be the one to test it out today. The little bow tie noodles. Not a big fan. Ooh, fresh box alert. Just did a whole box of noodles, baby. We're cooking our farfalle. 
Alright, fine, 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 fine. Feels like it's done. Look at this cool, super fun, unconventional strainer that Jackson got. It's expandable. So it it's in your sink. So much fun. Cool. Maybe a couple ladles of pasta water. And a noodle for good luck. I'm gonna make that a thing. Not two noodles though, don't f around. Two noodles is bad luck. See in here, this is starchy water. It's got starch. Wow. I only do when I'm with Scott's starch. Okay, we're gonna stop doing that. And we're gonna pluck our feta out of the oven. No, no, no. Looks pretty underwhelming to me. Give it a mixy mix. Oh, we're gonna keep something on our paws so we don't touch this hot glass here. Almost forgot. One of the most important parts is to throw our garlic in when this is still piping hot. So you got about eight cloves of garlic going in. You don't want to lose any of that garlic, baby. Well, the first order of business is to get our actual noodles in here. This would make a great pasta salad. If we had some foresight and we made this yesterday, brought this to the party cold, I'm sure that would be about, let's say about a quarter cup of the pasta water. I wouldn't be mad at you if you threw some basil in. But if you're going to add basil to this, this is another hot tip. You're not going to want to cook the basil in this. Add it as an afterthought. So when this comes out of the oven, it's still really hot. You're still going to be at some cooking temperature. So you can add stuff like garlic. Crushed red pepper on everything. A little high note. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Do you think it needs anything else? Maybe more salt. Maybe. Yeah, I can see it. What about some lemon juice? Lemon juice. I would say no. Not like lemon. What we're gonna do when you grab yourself a bowl is we're gonna be using something called Baker's Ratios. It's a bit to explain and I don't have all day. If you wanna Google the topic, you can and that is okay.